And so when we say he must answer, it's not because we have any power to leverage God. He must answer because of who he is. And he cannot lie. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? How many of you know everything that he says he will do? Titus chapter 1 verse 2 says, God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. How many of you know when he came into covenant relationship with us, he knew exactly what he was getting himself into. He knew that there would be people who would receive that. He knew there would be people who would walk away from it. But he's still saying, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do everything to give it to you. So when we ask of the Lord, how many of you know we aren't twisting God's arm? God is trying to convince us that he has committed himself to do these things. He is so committed to it that he sent his son Jesus and he sealed this commitment in blood, saying, I will do it. I'm in covenant relationship with you. And if you are in Christ Jesus, you are heirs of the promise. How many of you know we need, we need to stop underestimating what God wants to do and we need to begin to ask him to do it? Amen? We got to ask. Ask and you will receive. He must answer and we must ask. Ask. 